November 19th, the UFC makes its way to San Jose, California for the first time in a night of champions. Vanderlei Silva will take on Kong Lee, and Uriah Faber will take on Brian Bowles. And if that wasn't enough, another bout between two former champions. Dan Henderson will take on Mauricio Shogun Hua. Here we go! With every fight I have, there's an opportunity to finish guys. It's a matter of putting that power where it counts. He has extreme confidence in that right hand. He truly believes that all he has to do is get close enough to uncork that thing, drop it on you, and that's a wrap. He used that right hand to knock out Fei Zhao to win the Strike Force Light Heavyweight title. He used it to separate Fedor from his senses. He used it to knock out Babalu. And the right hand that he hit Michael Bisping with will be on highlight reels until the end of time. But Mauricio Shogun Hua is the best Muay Thai striker in all of mixed martial arts. Mauricio Shogun Hua got back on track with a TKO victory over former title holder Forrest Griffin in Brazil. And he realizes that a victory over Dan Henderson will send him right back into light heavyweight title contention. Acho que esse é meu grande foco é o cinturão. Mas é lógico que esse é meu grande sonho, mas eu tenho um outro centro lá frente que é o da Rennes. Mauricio Shogun Hua is a more well-rounded striker than Dan Henderson is. He has more of a repertoire. Shogun throws more kicks than some and more knees and clinch than some, but it's nothing I haven't seen before. The biggest thing that I focus on is, is the fight in front of me and, and making sure that I'm living right there in the moment. And It's a fight that fight fans have been wanting to see forever, and now they get to. By some acts of fate and circumstance, they never met each other in the cage. And this is an opportunity that fans have long anticipated and speculated. Two legends of the sport. You have the well-rounded striking game of Mauricio versus the devastating one-punch knockout power of Dan Henderson. It's a really interesting stylistic matchup, and it's a really interesting matchup between two guys who are true legends of the sport. I'm going to go out there, fight a war, and knock him silly. Kung Lee is one of the most exciting kickers in the history of mixed martial arts. He has devastating kick knockouts over guys like Scott Smith with a 360 degree turning side kick to the body. Try finding that on anybody else's highlight reel. Wow, a spinning back kick there, a spinning crescent kick. For Kung Lee to not just be fighting in the UFC, but to be fighting in the yeah. UFC against Vanderlei Silva. I guarantee you the intensity in that arena that night is going to be second to none. Vanderlei Silva, of course, the former Pride middleweight champion, a guy who is one of the most aggressive, dangerous, and devastating strikers to ever compete in mixed martial arts. Kung Lee can do some wild stuff, man. He's got a wild front leg side kick, throws devastating kicks, kicks really by volume, probably much more than the average mixed martial arts fighter. My fighting style is more technical, more kicks, Vanderlei's more punches. And I think the styles match up perfectly for the fans. He has one unique style. No, nobody has his style. I never fight with a guy like him. Wow! Kung Lee is uh, a veteran of the sport, a guy who was a, a former San Shu champion before he ever entered into mixed martial arts. And his mixed martial arts debut was highly anticipated because of the fact that he had fought so many bouts on national television. He had been a household name in the San Jose area for a long, long, long time and had packed arenas long before he was ever the Strike Force champion. I fought my first fight in mixed martial arts in San Jose, and now I get to fight my first fight in UFC in San Jose. I'm excited about fighting Van Lee Silva, who's a legend. Oh, 
He's a guy who just runs at you, caution to the wind, guns blazing, and that's how he fights every single fight. He's a banger. He's going to come in and he's going to give it everything he has. He's going to come at me reckless with wild, heavy punches, and he's going to try to impose his will on me, and I'm going to be ready for Van Le Silva. He's a real tough guy, a real tough opponent. He, he used more different kicks. Now we need to be careful about his kicks. Vanderlei Silva's a swarmer. He's the type of guy who likes to get on top of you, grab a hold of you, throw devastating knees and punches and kicks. Look at the finish! Swing. The real question of this fight is who can impose their style. Vanderlei's style is to get very close to you, make it very personal, get on top of you and jump on you and just maul you with a barrage of techniques. Oh, he got hit. Lee style is to pick you apart from the outside, blast you with kicks, and then put you away. I think keeping my distance and being in and out will be very important in this fight. The crosshairs are on Vandalay Silva. We're going to have a great match, a bad battle in the stand up. This is a very, very exciting fight between two guys that are former champions. Uriah, of course, the former featherweight king, and Brian Bowles, the former bantamweight king. There's always someone nipping at your heels in this sport. He's there waiting for his opportunity to get the belt, and I'm here waiting for my opportunity. No way he wants it more than me. He's had his chance. Fight a top contender to get back in contention. That's what this is about. This is the fight that it all boils down to. Uriah Faber, you have an amazing, well-rounded wrestler who's got wild striking techniques and is one of the very best fighters currently competing in any division in the UFC. It's basically good wrestling, good boxing, good cardio, and that's what makes him a good fighter. You got the guy with amazing endurance, a constant attacking, aggressive style with some devastating chokes and techniques. That's it. The kid is back. He's a former champion in the featherweight division and now down at 135 pounds. I believe that's the best weight class for Uriah. I found a way to maintain my strength and be in a weight class that's 10 pounds lighter. I'm the strongest guy in the 135 pound division. Now, in Brian Bowles, the big challenge for Uriah is to avoid the vicious one-punch knockout power that Bowles possesses. Oh, and a big right. It's Brian Bowles who shuts the door. But Bowles has something special. He uncorks that right hand, and you go nighty-night. He connects. Torres gets rocked there. Two, three, four big punches. I'm the powerful guy out there. I'm the hard hitter. I'm the well-rounded guy. And I think that's what matches up bad for him. He's a very well-conditioned fighter, good in all positions. He also has a nasty guillotine choke that he used to put to sleep, Damasio Page, not just once, but twice. He's out, he's out, he's out. And it's all over! Brian Bones chokes out Damasio Page! I'm comfortable going anywhere with anybody. My game plan is to go out there, take him down, hit him hard, you know, beat him up. Both these guys makes for one of the most exciting matchups in the bantamweight division. This sport's all about putting yourself against the best guys. I want to get out there and hit him quick as possible. I plan on having a great fight, getting a big W. I can knock him out. I'm going to beat him to the punch. This is going to be a high-paced fight. It's going to be ugly. Light!